Here we go. Pe <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania Sioux, no guidebook mo atta. There is also a guidebook about Pennsylvania, like the, the state. And next is your turn, Cookie. Uh, okay. Um, that, that's uh, the bit that starts with Shio, right? Yep. Yep. Shio ring a. Was this was ga. Why would we have wa right here? Uh did I just did I try and say nga like that? We have the particle ga here. So this yeah. can't be a particle. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That that threw me off a bit. Whoa, okay. Shorikawa um sa mat. Okay, yeah. So Frog um, Kuriku was the name of the city. Creek. It was the name of the city they live in. So no reason you know that if you haven't read the Magic Tree House books before. That's just the name of the city they they're inside. Yeah. Frog uh, Creek. By the way, where's Pennsylvania? <laughs> Um, so if this were here was a map of the United States, this is Washington, this is Pennsylvania, this is New York, Florida, Texas, California. All uh, right. So um yeah, okay. So, so <laughs> over here is Pennsylvania. I've only and been to California. So yeah, that's now it's like this, but yeah. not not yet at New York. It, it's by I those see. water thingies, the lakes. Uh like where Detroit is. Yeah, I think that's near. <laughs> Toronto, Ottawa, etc. Yeah, it's just in that area. Uh, normally, I right. wouldn't know that, but I too looked this up one day. <laughs> yeah. Curiosity. Hi. You know what a sh uh, shiori is? Uh, that's a good question. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before, but I've probably forgotten. Hi. Shiori. Name tag? Close. It's a bookmark. Oh, it's a bookmark. Okay. So bookmarks are normally hasamateiru into pages. This so is the normal like thing in between do. pages. Exactly. That is really interesting. Okay. So we're describing the guidebook that he looked at earlier. Yeah, just that's for right. context. So what's the rest of the saying? Um, okay, so the bookmark that was between the pages was food. Uh, was a, had a picture of Frog Creek. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Very close. Um, what is the subject of the sentence? Um, the page? Yes, it's not the bookmark. Yeah. The bookmark is not the subject. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so so the in, in the page, there was a picture of Frog Creek. Yes, exactly. And we're describing okay. that page as a page that had the bookmark in it. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little complicated to translate long sentences into Japanese. But yeah, this is just the main thingy. And this is just describing that item. It's called yeah. a relative clause, in case you're curious. So this would be the, the page that, that's how we do it in English, we say, that in between it had a bookmark. That page um, had a picture of Frog Creek in it. I see. It depicted a picture of Frog Creek. And hmm. So thanks to this book, the two were able to return back home. Here's that korareta again, which um, from kudu maybe to come. Korareta. korareta. Which tense is that? I wonder. They were able. They were able to be brought back home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it. I think it means were able to. Yeah. So like it's past. Pause. Uh, plausible tense or something i don't know Kosareta, korareta. Oh, so they're different ones. yeah so they were able to come back home and feverish it is your turn hi uh, i think it's just ah uh... right. yep <laughs> uh, atawa uh kore wo saga shitetano. who's talking any yes <laughs> Uh, is the odd just like screaming? Uh, I think this ah is more like sighing. Ah, atta. Uh. <laughs> well, like it's not like totally screaming, but like that'd be like yeah. 
。It's like, ah, 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 is there a kanji for that? <laughs> Sagasu has a kanji. Do you want to see it first or do you just want me to tell you what it is? <laughs> you can go and just tell me it's fine. <laughs> Here's that kanji. Sagasu means oh, okay. to look or search for something. Yeah, it's so cool. nice to be able to tap. <laughs> yeah. So is she like saying, I found this? Or or specifically saying, oh, it's here. Or, ah, oh, atta. So it, 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 it exists. So, oh, this is it, or it's here. I was looking for this. Oh, okay. So we're gonna figure out what did Annie find, Cookie? Okay, Annie ga chuse no oshiro no e no tsuita furui hon no mitsuke no mitsuke dashita. So it's like, um. Ah, I, I think Chuse means um world, right? Or something like that. Yeah, um I cut it as middle ages because middle, middle ages. and world. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you might want to remind me on a, the the kanji every now and then. No no or shiro. Um and that's the castle of the middle ages, I... which was what the chapter title was. It is the chapter um, title. Yeah. Um and it's a it's a picture book or something. It's a it's a picture Close. or something like that. That's right. picture. A hon would be picture book. This is just e. It's e ga tsuita hon. Not sure about the tsuita part. So the, a tsuita means attached. Oh, attached. Okay. From tuku. So it's a picture attached to the book. Isn't that right? Hi. And we have other information about this book. What is it? It's old. Yes, it is a old book with a picture attached to it, and, and uh, Annie found happened? it. Yes, yeah. And do you know what this dasu is doing right here? Oh, that's it. Okay, how do I describe this? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, it's a, it's definitely she, a past tense. It, it it it's basically it's just like no, not only did she find it, but it's letting you know she kind of picked it up. She might be like holding it and like ah. That. Like this. Oh thing. yeah, like you're yeah, presenting it and you're holding it up happily. Yeah. Um, das, if it just says to uh dasu, sometimes I'll mean to start, some like to to begin finding something. But over here, it's dasu like to show. It's like aha, I I found it. Um, nice. And feverish. Onegaishimasu. Yes. Uh, Aoi kawa no shi ori. I think God is like grammar particle, hopefully. It is the particle. Uh, hasande aru. So kawa is probably hard. This means leather. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Since when do we have leather shiori's? <laughs> uh, what's a shiori? Uh, bookmark. Oh, okay. Oh, it is an old book after all, isn't it? It's old as that. But a leather bookmark. They had those back then? Well, what know. Edo How is it? The, uh, 1950s? <laughs> uh, well, if, if we have books, but why would you make it out of leather? I've never heard of a leather bookmark. Exquisite. Exquisite. It's so fancy. You think you just would do a paper book, but bookmark the max of paper book. <laughs> or like a leaf bookmark. I don't know. Leather. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it's a blue leather bookmark. Right. Um. And then hasande aru. Well, what do you think bookmarks do inside of books? Oh, probably resting inside or dividing. So hasande aru specifically means to be in between two things. So to be in between two pages. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, kino mo mite ta honda. So this is the book that Annie was looking at earlier in the first book. Um, however, she didn't say, ah, atte, atte mitai na. <laughs> she didn't say that when reading the book, unlike Jack. So they did not get to go to Annie's book. 
back then. So obviously, considering this is the name of the chapter, we're going to be going to the Middle Ages with the castle. Um, feverish. お願いします。はい、あ、兄は I guess you a little context. There is no natural light inside of the treehouse. And this okay. word is the same word as this word. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so Annie, uh, I think she's the subject. Uh, yes, she is the subject. And then she already sets the bookmark. The bookmark was resting inside uh, the page. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the page right there. And um, what does she do to the to that page, to the book? He liked it. Oh, she opened it. Yes, so she opens the book to the page that the bookmark was in. And what does she do? Do you remember what Kaichu Dento was? Is that like uh, some kind of monster? Oh no, flashlight. Mm, yes, flashlight. <laughs> uh, and then, well, Ateta. Uh, no, like turned it on, I think. So I don't think this turn on it should be the hit. Oh. So the light is hitting the the book that she's um looking at because she because there's no there's no natural light here, so she needs to have the flashlight hitting the book in order to read it, right? Oh, um, okay. Kuroi uma ni noteiru. Uh, no, no, tari. So there is a picture of a um of a knight that is facing a castle, and this knight is um on a black horse while he's looking at the castle. Um I I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's a he's an awesome knight. There I, go. I was like, what does Deep do here? He is a awesome knight that is sitting. Uh it's not Deepa like Ripper. I don't know why it's doing that. So Deepa not like splendid right here. <laughs> Second part. So yeah, okay. he's a splendid knight. Okay. Um feverish on a guy's Yes. Uh Jaku wa um Hatoshita. What is Hatoshita? <laughs> it's kind of like to take like a... <gasps> oh, like gasps, I guess. Hi. Okay, so Jack gasped. Yeah, so it's exactly. He did. <gasps> <laughs> Hatoshita. Um, and Cookie, onigaishimasu. Ani, yamero. Yamero. Hon no tojiru. That came out. Tojiro, tojiro. That came out funny. Yeah. <laughs> so that means, Annie, stop, close the book. <laughs> exactly. And feverish? Uh, Ani ga uh, hondo naka no uh, kishi wo yubi sashita. Okay, yeah, naka is nose, I believe. Uh, naka, oh. that's hana. Naka oh. means, you might have seen this kanji before. I don't know why they have the kanji right here. It's the square, the line in the naka. <laughs> Oh, like center? <laughs> yep. Inside or the center. Naka can mean kind of center, but in this case, it's inside. So inside the hon, there's a kishi, and Annie to that kishi's yubisasu's it. Okay. Uh, so she, I think she like touched it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She points at uh, it. Do you, do you, do you have any idea what she's going to do? She wants to go to the fantasy world to where the oh. night is. So she's doing yeah. what Jack did um, on day one. So she's like, okay, step one, <laughs> open the book. Step two, touch the picture of what you want to see. Um, and then goes, Yamero deba! I said, stop it. And finally, what does Annie say, Cookie? <laughs> 
Kitai. Um, what's uh, what's a Kiji or well, Kiji? Well, not saying Kiji, saying Kishi. Kishi. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm saying Kishi a lot. Any memories of what it might be? Ah, uh, uh, oh. Middle Ages. Close. Uh, it's not Middle Ages, but it is part of the title. So Kishis normally ride umas. And a lot oh, of times so it's a knight. Nice. Okay, yes. yeah. Kishi is knight. Yeah, you said it like three times. Um, <laughs> yes, Kishi ni aita. You're gonna, you're gonna like meet the knight or something. So I want to. I oh, I want I. to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to meet this knight. Aita kunai. I don't want to yeah. meet him. Jackwa, <laughs> oi sogi de asakenda. So Jack yells very osogi. Oi sogi de. Yeah, I don't know what that sogi. Sogi de, but yeah, sakenda is the yell. Jack yells in a sogi de. Oi sogi de. I feel like it should be like o. Oh, or oh, isogi in a hurry. Oh, isogi. That makes more sense. So he yells in a hurry. Okay. I thought that was oi, like big, rather than isogi. Um, that's why having kanji makes things easier. And cookie, on Oh, wait. Uh, hi. Uh, sono toki sugu chikaku de nani ka. Nanika ga kikoeta. Um, okay, this one's a pretty loaded one. Um, so at that time, so it's sono toki, uh, immediately, sugu means like immediately, right? And then chikaku de, I know chikaku means close or something. It does. Yeah, it goes close to the, uh, nanika. I think that means something. Yep. And nga uh, kikoeta was able to hear. Yep. Something. Yeah. So yep, he's able to hear something that is so sugu kind of means like directly super close. close. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not really like a direct, like it can be kind of, but so right at that time he hears a sound that's close by or getting close. Uh, ah right. Which is hee hee. Obviously, that's the sound of Uma makes. Uma no inanaku koida. It is the sound of a horse's horse. inanaku. Nei. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not. Special word, nei, just like in English. Hee And um, feverish? Yes. Uh, futari wa uh, odoroi to or te. Um, Mado no ho wo furi ka eta. Okay, uh, yeah, futari means like they're both the subject. Uh, Odoroite. Odoroku. What does Odoroku mean? Oh, <laughs> I guess like to be alarmed. Yeah, they are surprised. <laughs> And because of that, they mado no ho o furikaita. So originally they had the books like this, mado is over here, books are over here. Okay. Um, I think like, so it's like the direction of the window. Hi. So they like turn towards the window. Exactly. They turn to look backwards at the window because they were frightened. They were surprised by the hee 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 noise <laughs> um wow this doesn't end till over here i think i'll just do it <laughs> it's, it's like three lines ani ga kaichu den de mori o terasu to sono naka o rippana oroi o kite kabu kabuto o kabutta kishi ga kuroi uma no ni notte aruitte iru so we have a knight that has on his head a helmet, and he's also wearing armor that is splendid. And um, this is what uh, she sees when she signs her light of her um, flashlight into the forest. 
And anyway, this knight that we were talking about, he is riding on a horse that is walking toward us, toward the treehouse. Yeah, long sentence. Um, cookie, what do you guys want? Ah, more. Um, Jack wa atama o kakaeta. Um, okay, so I think someone. Either Jack or、uh, Annie went, oh, already.、Um, and Jack is like turning his head or something, isn't he? Close. So, kakaita basically kind of means the hang your head. So, in Japanese, whenever we have something like this with like a subject, the subject is always the one doing the voice if it's right after the quote. So, ah, mo. So, this is going to be Jack.、So、oh,、right、okay. Yeah. So that's just a little Japanese way to signify who's talking. Because in Japanese, normally you don't really see the itas that much. Like in English, we see that a lot. But in Japanese,、mm. it's pretty rare, I would say.、Um, so a lot of times, this is how they tag things, other than adding And, was.、Uh, yeah. And at the bit where it's like atama or kakaeta, is it like this、uh, kanji here? Atama's head. I don't know what Kakaidu has a kanji. Yeah.、Uh, yeah, it could be the hug. He puts his. Atama Kakaida means to be at one's wit's end. So I guess it's a metaphor、yeah. for holding your head in your arms. Okay. Interesting. But he's like.、Ah. Rip. <laughs> oh, Mo. Enokishi wa daiwa. It's the knight from the picture. Sticky. It's wonderful. Um,、mm. Annie wa o yorokobi da. Annie is very um happy. She has lots of joy and feverish. Hi. Uh, kaze ga uh fuki wa ji meta. Do you want to try this one more time? Because you did it right, but you also did it wrong.、Uh, oh, <laughs>、uh, Fuki, is that, that's, that's wa, right? Or is it ha? It's, it's ha. Because、oh. <laughs> you did both. You said Fuki, you said Fuki wa, then you said Hajimeta. So you knew deep down this is Hajimeta. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Fuki Hajimeta.、Uh, so, The wind,、uh, oh, I guess like blue for the first time. So it's not the first time. What、Or、is finally. it? Finally. It's not really、yeah. finally either. <laughs> That'd be like adding like a mo in there or something. This just means to begin. Oh,、uh, okay. okay. For example, hajime might be what someone yells when they want someone to start their fight in an anime. Gotta watch more fighting anime. <laughs> hajime. <laughs> Yeah, more Dragon Ball Z. Yeah.、Uh, whenever you begin the fight. So it's not fighting for the first time in their life. Ooh, that means something else. It's begin. <laughs>、um, so to begin blowing the wind.、Um, and our last line of the day is going to go to Cookie. Kino Hagazawaze. Sorry, I need a. Kino Hagazawazawa. Not they not, not they do. Okay, yeah, I skipped the line by accident. Okay. Yeah, so what happened is that the kaze it began. So, what do you think <laughs> that will happen to a key if the wind begins to blow? Yeah, um it's gonna, if when the wind starts to blow, the tree's gonna start shifting a little bit. And the leaves are gonna start shifting. That's that zawa zawa noise. Zawa zawa, yep.、Yeah. That's the sound of the leaves shifting.、Um, and this right here is just saying the sound of, basically. It's saying、yeah. that the kinoha made the noise of zawa zawa. Do you know what a kinoha the, is? What?、Uh, oh, yeah. A kinoha is the tree's leaves, right? Exactly. Yeah. So the tree、and、leaves the, make zawa zawa.、Mm. And the、uh, natteiru bit, I thought it meant to chirp or something. It can make the chirp. It is the sound that animals make, or also not they do. There's also that bird mouth in there, but it also、yeah. can mean to sound, to ring, the resound, to echo, to rumble.、Um, but yes, you are correct.、Um, that'd be naku. Naku. 
Oh, look at that beautiful kanji right there. <laughs> so, naku is the sound animals make, and naru is what's here with the do is, uh, I guess, the sound that inanimate objects make. We oh, learn damn. something new every day because I didn't know this till now until you, until you brought it up. Nice. Right. So, yeah, naru is. The zawa zawa and naku is wan wan or tweet tweet. Chirp, Any chirp. kind of chirp chirp. That's the <laughs> bird noise. Hi. And that's where we're going to stop for the day. So I'm going to stop the recording.